I'm at the Santee Catholic Cemetery at Santee, Nebraska in Knox County. Santee is the principal village of the Santee Sioux Reservation, population of 424 at the 2020 census. This reservation of the Santee Dakota was established in 1863. The history of Santee goes back to a series of treaties that the U.S. government made from 1805 to 1858 with the Asante Dakota, who were then living in central and southern Minnesota. The unjust treaties left the Asante people landless and destitute, completely dependent upon the government to survive. Yet the government failed to fulfill all the treaty agreements, and in response, some of the Dakota rebelled. After a six-week-long Dakota War, the Dakota Warriors surrendered September 26, 1862. Although not all of the Dakota had participated in the conflict, and many were even opposed to the war, most were still expelled from Minnesota to the Crow Creek area in the Dakota Territory, where they experienced much suffering. In 1866, they were moved here to the Santee Reservation in the Nebraska Territory to have, quote, a more suitable home. The U.S. government assigned different denominations of missionaries to different reservations with the thought of helping the native people to develop, quote, more civilized customs. The first missionaries to Santee arrived in 1870. A congregational church was built along with the Santee Normal Training School. The Episcopal Church in Minnesota also established a mission here. Their first mission, St. John, was swept away by a tornado in 1870. It was replaced by St. Mary's Mission, which was destroyed by a fire in 1884. The very same year, the Episcopal Church of Our Most Merciful Savior was built here at Santee. You can still see the church here behind me today. Prior to the time of the reservations, many of the Dakota or Lakota people had previous encounters with Catholic missionaries, in particular Jesuits like Father Peter Desmet and the Benedictine Father Martin Marty. Some were dissatisfied with the government forcing other Christian denominations upon them. For example, after having moved to the Yankton Reservation, Chief Struck by the Re of the Yankton Dakota wrote in 1866, I have made up my mind on this subject 22 years ago. I wish to put the instruction of the youth of my tribe into the hands of the black robes. I consider them alone the depositories of the ancient and true faith of Jesus Christ, and we are free to hear and follow them. My mind is made up." The Bureau of Catholic Indian Missions was established in Washington, D.C. in 1874 to advocate for the needs of Catholic Native Americans. In response to Chief Red Cloud, the Jesuits established the Holy Rosary Mission at Pine Ridge Reservation to serve the Ogallala Lakota people. At the invitation of Chief Two Strike, the Jesuits established the St. Francis Mission at the Rosebud Reservation for the Sikangu Lakota. Following the request of Chief Struck by the Re, Jesuits and then Benedictines came to the Yankton Reservation, establishing St. Paul's Mission. The Catholic way of praying and teaching was extended to the Santee Reservation from the Jesuits at St. Paul's Mission at the Yankton Reservation. They would cross the river, teach, say Mass, and offer other sacraments beginning around 1912. In October of 1912, Father John Palabicki, a young Polish diocesan priest, was given charge of the Santee Mission. He worked zealously during his short time here at Santee. After only 16 months, he received 60 individuals into the Catholic Church. 
He felt that having a church of their own here would help to foster faith and conversion. So in February of 1914, he took two months away, preaching at 50 parishes in Chicago in order to collect funds for building a church at Santee. Before a church could be built here at Santee, Father Palubicki was transferred to Fullerton, though later he received a title of Monsignor for all his work. Later in 1915, Jesuit father Henry Westrop came from the Yankton Reservation and built the Sacred Heart Chapel in Santee. By 1916, the Santee Reservation was being served by Jesuit priests from Holy Rosary Mission at Pine Ridge. Sacred Heart Mission was attended from Pine Ridge until 1923, when it again received a diocesan pastor. In 1917, a small chapel named St. Anne was built at the Howe Creek District of the Reservation between Center, Nebraska and Highway 12. It was destroyed by fire and then rebuilt. A map from 1920 shows a church labeled along the Howe Creek, likely marking the spot of St. Anne's Chapel. This station at Howe Creek is mentioned in the official Catholic directory from 1924 to 1929. As its use declined, sometime between 1929 and 1933, Father McNamara of Bloomfield sold it to the county to be used as a schoolhouse. The statues and pews were placed in the chapel of the old Lynch Hospital. Well, St. Anne's Catholic Chapel is gone from its location. Just down the road where I'm at now is an old Episcopal chapel at the Howe Creek Cemetery. From 1933 to 1957, the Santee Mission was again attended by Benedictines from St. Paul's Mission. In Nyabrera's 150-year history book, it says that in 1941, Benedictine Father Daniel Madlin and his 74-year-old father built a Sacred Heart Chapel near Highway 12, located two and a half miles east of the Santee Spur. It was used until the late 1950s or 1960s when it was sold to an area farmer. I was unable to confirm the existence of this Sacred Heart Chapel with other sources, but it seems to refer to a different church from the Sacred Heart Chapel that was built in Santee in 1915. Perhaps it replaced the old chapel with a new location. A 1960 map shows a district school number 144 at the location that I'm at right now, approximately where the chapel may have been. The deteriorating buildings behind me may mark the place where that school and maybe even the chapel used to be. Priests serving Santee also serve Catholics here in Niobrara for many years, celebrating Mass at people's homes. Finally, in 1948, the first Catholic church was built in Niobrara, St. William. St. William's pastor, Benedictine Father Benno Fellinger, was able to use some of the lumber from the Sacred Heart Chapel at Santee in the construction of the new church. The newer church behind me was actually dedicated in 1979 at a different location from the original due to flooding. The Benedictine priests of St. Paul Mission in South Dakota continued to care for this parish until 1959. After the Benedictines left, St. William was cared for by diocesan priests. The Catholic Santee Indian Mission was officially closed in 1957. All that remains of the mission is this cemetery, still under the charge of the Bureau of Catholic Indian Missions.
Here at St. William in Niobrara, one can find the bell that was originally purchased for the Santee Church in the 1920s. The bell was moved to St. William's Wooden Church in 1948, and the bell ended up in storage for years until this new bell tower was completed in 1994. As a result of the recent Journey of Faith pastoral planning, St. William no longer has a weekend mass, though the church continues to be used. Niobrara is part of a parish family that has 12 church locations served by just two priests. Sunday Mass is celebrated 12 miles away at St. Wenceslas in Verdigree.